Hi there, back again. Now, doing some more requests. One is for Laura Ingraham, and the other, very strange request, but I'm kind of interested in it, um, is on the mother of Betsy DeVos and Eric Prince. So, although I'm sure these women are worthy of the Toth deck, I've gone back to the Rider Waite because I'm just much more comfortable with it and it's second nature to me. So, the inexcusably, unnecessarily hideous Laura Ingraham, um, of course, I'm sure, as you all know, she went for David Hogg and about the colleges that turned him down, etc. That's backfired. Advertisers are leaving in droves. And she's gone on vacation. It was already scheduled, you know. Sure, Laura. So, what's coming up for her and her career at Fox? So, let's see. Laura. 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 They think they're invincible, these people, don't they? I mean, hmm. Okay, I'm going to do a block reading for her. So give me a moment to lay out the cards. Oh, that's reversed, but probably my pack is wrong way around. Lucky for her. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. Now, right off the cuff, we have Trump sitting on her head, representing her. She is obviously, to be employed at Fox, a Trump acolyte. There's a bit of a fusion in the Emperor representing Trump, and also her. I'm just getting this feeling that she's a bit of an empress in her own right, but here it sits as Trump. So in her past, she's gone into battle. She's had some victories. Um, as I often say with this card, the people who work with you walk away. Not a popular colleague, you'd have to say. But she's there in the forefront wielding the sword. This is in her recent past. She got the job and was able to hang in, so to speak, and give her particular view of how the world works and was popular for it. And she loved throwing out the barbs and the spears. She was good at it, um, and there you go. That was her gig, and that's what she did well, and that's what she was rewarded for. So now we come to the current column. Right underneath her association with Trump, fool. She was a fool to go for the traumatised students. Low act, dog act. Now, speaking of a dog act, I mentioned this term, which apparently is a very Australian term, and people got back to me, viewers got back to me saying, oh, we have the equivalent, it's called a dick move, or something like that, right, or this and that. I don't think it's quite the same as a dog act. Right, with a dick move, forgetting we're talking about a woman for a minute, for an ovarian move doesn't really cut it, does it? No, no, no. So a dick move is a foolish, bolshy, um, sort of macho bit of nonsense, and someone like Trump could make 10 dick moves a day. No, a dog act is a final act that you never come back from. Okay, it's the lowest of the low, dog act. So I think she's committed a dog act. Okay, King of Swords in the middle. So this is justice coming down on Laura Ingraham. Justice meaning 
a pulling away of the popularity. It's not a legal thing. It's social justice. Going, you know what? That was ugly. Commerce and trade. Fox News is weighing up. Is she worth it? She's got a huge viewership. She might be able to come back from this. Oh, we're losing more advertisers still. Mm, they're going to make a commercial decision whether she's worth it. Right. In her near future, the Page of Pentacles, she's still young enough. She's not young, 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 but she's still young enough to make another career around money. She has a brain and chooses not to use it. That's interesting. So the Page of Pentacles with the red turban often represents someone who does understand complexity, who does understand science. This is why these people who do understand these issues are worse than those who have never had an opportunity for education or exposure to different ideas. She has and she chooses to be a trolling witch. The magician. She might well reinvent herself on the other side of this. In other words, this is saying to me that it's not looking good for her at Fox. I don't think it's the end of her career altogether. Retreat. Pulling back. This says to me overall, though, not looking good for her at Fox. Probably will get the sack but it'll be tastefully done in the form of a retreat. She'll say she's going on to do other things. She will get other work in the future, so we can look forward to further illuminating observations from Laura Ingraham, but not that likely to be at Fox. Now, while I put the cards back and get ready for the second part of this requested reading, the mother of Betsy DeVos, you know, the Mickey Mouse Secretary of Education, who's just embarrassing to watch. She's such a cringe thon She's really, truly an embarrassment to have there in that role. I can't believe she's still got the gig. Um, but her mother, so, and the name was interesting. This is what made me want to do this reading. The mother of Betsy DeVos and Eric Prince. She's Dutch and her name is Elsa Zweep Prince Brookhuizen. Now I'm sure any Dutch viewers will be absolutely rolling and holding their sides at my appalling pronunciation. But it hints to me Second World War Nazi supporter because you don't produce a son like Eric Prince out of nowhere. You know, he's truly callous and destructive. And also on the board of the company that sprang out of Cambridge Analytica, when they saw Cambridge Analytica going down the toilet, a few of them leapt sideways, including Eric Prince. So, what sort of woman produces... Betsy and Eric. I'm fascinated. Hope you are too. So let's have a quick look at her. I'm just going to do a five carder on her. What was her name again? Elsa Zweep Prince Brook is Oh. Oh. Bang in the centre. Now does this mean that Elsa, as I will call her in this reading, had a very difficult life up until this point, quite possibly, or it could be the immediate future of her children is leading to disappointment and in the case of her beloved son could lead to jail and this is what her central thoughts are and what is commanding her headspace. Not sure at this point. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Having a little look at Elsa here. Right. Now, above her, above everything, the Empress. I would strongly suggest this is her. She's obviously wealthy. She's obviously um, hugely privileged. And it's the Empress. We're talking about her as a mother. The Empress is the goddess of fertility in that sense. So this is definitely the cards are saying we're on the right track with her. This is who she is. Okay. In the past, despite having a lot of money, also worried about money. And so that can often happen with fabulously wealthy families because, as I like to say, every great fortune is hiding a great crime. And it was probably a case, if you go back one or two generations, of having no money or not enough money. So worry about money. This is also the harvest card. We're talking about her as the mother of these two forces for destruction in their own quite different ways, wondering what she's harvested. What's in it? A lot, lot of conflict, a lot of conflict in the family. This is not a rosy family. She would not be an easy mother. Do not think for one minute they actually had it easy in the maternal stakes. I think she would have been a dragon, harridan, nightmare. Lots of conflict. Short-term outcome, women celebrating. Now, why would that be? Why, with these quite heavy sort of influences, why would it suddenly be three women celebrating? I think what this means is that Betsy's going to go and Eric Prince is going to go to jail. And now this card comes up all the time with the Democratic Party. So what this says to me is, even if Betsy holds on to her job for now, she's definitely gone after the midterms. Regardless of how far the Mueller investigation gets in terms of rolling out the subpoenas and the indictments, once the Democrats get in, they are not going to be happy with anything less than jail for Eric Prince. So I see this quite clearly, in fact, clearer than some of the other readings on Prince. I really think he's going to go to jail. Most of us don't want to see Betsy DeVos dead. Um, we simply want her out of the job for which she is singularly ill-qualified and spectacularly bad at doing. So resignation or firing would be okay for Betsy. Nothing short of jail for Eric Prince, Blackwater, Wool, Big History, Cambridge Analytica, sewerage. We're talking sewerage when you come to Eric Prince. Oh, all right then. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much. And if you want to donate, Please feel free. All right, see you soon. Bye now.